So I've been training at home now for the past six months or so, and I really like my setup. One of the things I kind of wish I did initially was get different style weight plates, however. Even though I love these competition bumpers from Rogue because they're calibrated, they're very durable, very high quality, they don't really work out so well when I'm putting a lot of weight on the bar. And now that I'm starting to get my strength back, they're just kind of a little bit cumbersome. So that being said, instead of going the cheap route and just picking up some cheap plates, one of the things I wanted to do was use some of the money I get from sponsorships to go ahead and pick up a competition set of plates. So I grabbed some Ivancos, as many of you guys know who follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Now I know many of you have also said, why didn't you go with the Rogue competition plates that just came out? And honestly, I did look into those and I tried to order them, but you guys know my luck with Rogue and they just weren't meant to be. But that being said, with these new plates have come some new issues. And I like to refer to this problem as meathead math, meaning we grow up knowing that the bar weighs 45 pounds. And eventually when we add a 45 pound plate to each side, we have 135, add another one on, we're up to 225 pounds. Third one is 315, four wheels, we're talking about 405, and finally adding a fifth one on, we're at 495. You know what, wanna add a clip? Who cares? We don't add that weight to the total anyways. It's also become really easy to add on these 35 pound bumpers, whether we're talking about 205, 295, 385, or 475. The same thing can be true of adding on these green 25 pound plates as well. Adding 50 pounds aside is pretty easy math. Same goes when we're adding 10s, or 5s, or even 2 and a halves. Now, one of the first problems I have is the bar no longer weighs 45 pounds. It weighs 20 kilograms, which in pounds ends up being 44. Now, for me personally, I don't have a 20 kilogram bar yet, but I'm going to just assume that this is 20 kilograms and I'm lifting one more pound on each actual lift. Now, these red 25 kilogram plates actually aren't that bad because 25 kg works out to roughly 55 pounds. So one on each side equals 70 kilograms or right around 155 pounds. Add a second one on, you're up to 120, then 170. 220, and finally 270. So nice round numbers, right? Nope, wild card, bitches. Now you have to account for these two and a half kilogram collars, which adds a total of roughly 11 pounds, throwing things off even further. Now we have other plates as well, like a 20 kilogram plates, but just one here, not a fat stack. It's like having a stack of ones with a $100 bill on the outside. Just want to show you some differences between plates. Now it's these other ones that really get me because the 15 kilogram plates are equal to 33 pounds, the 10s are equal to 22 pounds, the 5s 11 pounds, the 2 and a half's 5 and a half pounds, and finally the 1 and a quarter kilograms are equal out to 2 and 3 quarter pounds. So my math is not very strong here yet. However, it will get better in time, but just take a look at the difference in real estate that these take up on a bar, 225 in the red or 496, and in the blue up top, 495. So roughly the same weight, yet about half the real estate on the bar. And this has led to another adjustment I've had to make, being that I'm dropping the actual real estate taken up on the bar by about 50%, but the weight is staying the same, if not even heavier than what I'm used to. So it's just kind of a little bit of a weird feeling dealing with skinnier plates, but having it feel extremely heavy. But in the end, it's not the weights we lift that's the heaviest, but perhaps our feels. And speaking of feels, have you ever felt like fitness is your true calling in life? Ever wanna make it your career, but didn't know how? Well, check out the NASM and their two-week free trial of their services. Through this innovative program, you too can become a certified personal trainer and make fitness a career. You can find out more information at myusatrainer.com slash Campbell Fitness.